at the storage unit on a late Sunday night. We're here super late. And uh, Kathy bought this awesome spaceship. Actually, it's not a spaceship. It is a purifier. It is the air-free purifier. The silent purifier. When you plug it in, the little blue light up here comes on. And you know it's working. Thank you so much, Kathy, for the support. It is heading your way. Also, gun toting mama's little crossbody. Now, this doesn't have the actual um, handle to it or strap to it. But it's still sold for $15 plus shipping. We picked this up at a Goodwill for like, what, $1.99 or $2? Yeah. And basically, this is where you would hold your pistoli. You would have a Velcro holster right there. And then whatever you're doing with it, you would have it. So right there, $15 plus shipping. Heading out is this really neat looking skull. This is a vintage Halloween decoration. They're called die cut. And this thing alone sold for $15 plus shipping there. We got a whole bunch at a yard sale for super cheap, like what, five bucks mm -hmm. for like 50 of them or 20 of them, whatever it was, it was a lot. We got some really cool flocked ones and flocked means it looks fuzzy. And I didn't know that until we actually published this video about us finding it. And somebody told us that that's what the key word was, flocked. It's when it looks like, I don't know, fuzzy or velvety on the outside. This one though, sold 15 plus shipping. We probably have a dollar into it. Took a little while to sell, probably about four or five months. The Blower Pants, brand new Blower uniform pants we got this out of a storage locker so basically we're already in the uh we're already in the profit on this so this is going to be pure profit sold for i think 15 dollars plus shipping on this one also all right couple more things heading out of d5 a flattened uh beer can so this was never rolled nothing was ever put in or anything like that i got these at an auction probably i don't know a year and a half ago now really thought these things would be awesome would sell and i really don't understand still why i guess there's there's just so many of them they're not that much in demand which would also drive prices down i bought these for like four dollars a piece i really probably even haven't made my money back on them so they were kind of not a good buy but this one sold for eight dollars plus shipping and it took a really long time to sell so be on like when you're looking at stuff like that just make sure you comp it out correctly if i would have looked it up i probably wouldn't have bought them and then we got a vinyl coming out a lp record in super good condition here it is again we have 10 cents into these this one sold for four dollars plus shipping another snap-on scan attachment going out this one's for $12 plus shipping I'm in the profit on these right here these come off of scanners that for you plug into your computer and basically this tool will tell you what's going on with it and these are just the attachments that plug into this specific computer for that year so this one right here $12 plus shipping all right one of my favorite utensils sold this is going to be Cutco slotted spoon right there we got these for 25 cents at the Goodwill so like in a couple hours for $12 plus shipping. We have like four more to also that we found that day. And then also a vintage bottle opener sold to Alec from Tiffin Pickens. And they actually wrote us a little note right here, which is pretty neat. They said that they love our watching our YouTube channels, both of them. So we much appreciate that. My wife and I resell out of our 32 foot motorhome as we travel the country check us out tiffin pickens there we do appreciate uh your support and good luck with that because that would actually be super fun we yeah, thought about that so that's really cool in c number eight we have these handles they're like regular hardware handles for uh an interior of a house this stuff sells for super amount of money if you go to lowe's and you look up certain like dead bolts handles any type of hardware for house nowadays is like astronomically high so if you can buy new stuff at yard sales comp it out they usually have barcodes take a look exactly how much they go for then flip it on ebay this stuff right here we picked up a really long time ago it was a a long tail item which basically just means that it took a really long time to sell but i remember we picked these up all for five bucks the guy gave us the entire box box for five bucks and it sold for forty dollars plus shipping Got these Vionics right here for $10 at a yard sale. It was a church yard sale. I still remember where I picked them up at. They are brand new, never been used or anything like that. They took actually longer than I thought to sell. They took about four months to sell, but we sold them for $45 plus shipping. Anytime I can pick up that brand right there, Vionic, I do pick it up. Also, anytime I can pick up a brand new pair of shoes, name brand for 10 bucks i usually pick it up too callaway golf club head now everybody always asks about what type of golf clubs we sell callaway ping titleist uh a whole bunch of other good brands if you want to know we actually have other 
Videos about that on our other channel, The Bearded Thrift Machine, tells you all about golf clubs. But this was sold for $56 plus shipping. We actually only have $2 into this. Golf clubs is, once you get to know the brands and know how to like look them up correctly, there's a ton of money in them. So this right here, 56 plus shipping. All right, just found this, and I bought this a long time ago. This is Wilson Leather, and it's a laptop. It's actually a super nice laptop. It's not an carrying actual case. laptop. It's a carrying case. As you can tell, we have been, we're actually super tired because we've been working all day long. But um, a really nice carrying case here, and it sold for a 80 bucks. Mm -hmm. I had it listed super high, and I probably should have went down, to be honest with you, because I probably would have sold it faster. But it did sell. Took a long time. This would be one of the first things that I probably ever bought three years ago. So took a long time. I probably spent uh, six bucks at a Goodwill on this. So eighty dollars or six dollars in eighty in three years. Probably could have just sold it for forty a year ago and got the space back. But I'll take that sale. Finally sold one of those bumper parts. This is going to be a Valence to a Honda or maybe a Toyota. So for $45 plus shipping, they spent $55 in shipping. And the most important things about these is that we needed to like a box, right? To put them in. And a lot of people, like these would be so hard to ship if you didn't buy the right boxes. So we did go to Uline. I like Uline. I measured these and we got 48 by eight by eight. So these are all oversized. I mean, $55, they're not heavy. This probably will only weigh like, what, five pounds, if mm -hmm. that. So, but with the right box, this is easy to ship. We only have a couple dollars into each one of these and we have 20 or 30s like back there just sitting. So that's a pretty good deal. I'm happy to see that one of these sold. Right now we're trying to sell a lot of that stuff locally on Facebook Marketplace just because it's super hard. Some of the shipping is going to be like freight shipping on some of those big bumpers. So we're trying to get rid of them fast, but I'm happy to see one at least selling on eBay. So that ain't bad. All right, get another HO train heading out here. The old Kellogg's for breakfast, American style, went for $5 plus shipping. And then on the Bear Strip Machine channel, I said this was going to be the fastest selling thing out there. People were like, no, it's not. And it is the robe sold. The In here is the Polo Ralph Lauren robe and i said like the sell-through rate on these things are crazy there's none listed all sold so if you see these now they didn't sell for much this one is not in the best condition either so for 20 plus shipping we picked it up for five bucks so easy some of these though can go over 300 dollars. so be on the lookout for polo ralph lauren robes thought i heard a mouse did you hear that no anyway uh we got another ho train union pacific went for 630 Plus shipping, we are probably in the profit now on this yard sale. So every train, and we have a lot of train stuff left, it's going to be pure profit. We have some good sales here. Cutco, my favorite brand. This is the pearl handle. And I'll put up a picture, obviously, because I wish you could see the pearl handle. If I own Cutco's, I would probably own this type. The pearl handles, right? Aren't they very pretty? They are pretty. I'm having trouble saying the word pearl, though. And this sold for $40.50. We picked this up for, I think, like a dollar or a quarter mm -hmm. at a yard sale. So super good there. Garmin. A lot of people don't pick these up, and you can pick them up for a dollar or two at a yard sale because people think they're obsolete. These are the Garmin. This is the new V2 2555, and this one sold for $15 plus shipping. Comes with the uh, the suction cup, and it comes with the charger, and it works. The thing is, is a lot of people don't ever buy these. They're easy $10 profit all day long if you can get them for a dollar or two. And then these shoes right here, some Nikes. We've had these for a while, but we just listed them. We've actually listed all of these shoes in the last, what, two days or so. Mm -hmm. So we're only the shoe thing we still have if y'all watch the other um beard thrift machine we still have a whole bunch of the high-end jordans that we got out of the storage locker we haven't listed those yet i think we listed about 50 percent of them and we still got the jordan fours that everybody was going crazy about they're still unlisted and uh we're just holding on to them for a little bit so these are for 34 dollars plus shipping and there you have it got my train of thought <laughs> Back at the storage unit, and a little late for us, right? It is like 6.30 mm -hmm. at night, and usually we pull orders like midday, but go ahead and pull the first order, $9 plus shipping. This went actually overseas. This is a snap-on, boop, thing that uh, helps with a adapter and scanner and stuff, and things sell like hotcakes. If you can ever pick them up, they always sell for about 10 to 20 bucks. Then Garfield sold. We don't know if this is a viewer or not. If it is, thank you so much for supporting our our eBay store, and this sold for $15 plus shipping. All right, tool head now. This is a big old carbide blade from Craftsman. Very easy to look up because the model number is actually on 
the blade itself. This thing sold for $16.66 plus shipping good because it's very, very heavy. And then a Harley Davidson hat went out. This one's in really good condition. Got it for $2 the other day at a yard sale. Sold within like a week. And that's pretty fast for hats. So for $12 plus shipping. Three things going out in D1. Mario and the Sega Man went for $12.90 plus shipping. It is used. This guy right here does not work. This is, I believe, a PS4 controller. And they asked if it works. It does not. It actually is just for parts and repairs. Still sold for $9 plus shipping. That also came out of a storage unit, which is pretty cool. And then the 127 yard sale in Tennessee, which we're definitely going back to again. This is where we picked up a whole lot. I'll throw up a picture because you can't really see it. A whole lot of cross pens and pencils. Cross is a really good name brand. I picked them up all for like a dollar and I put them on bid and I started super low. I think I started like four bucks, went all the way up to $22.50 plus shipping. So this is why I like auctions. I do a lot of auctions when it comes to bulking things in lots and then I put them on auction super cheap because usually I pick them up super cheap and they sometimes go a lot higher than you think. Sometimes they go a lot lower than you think too. We sold a DeWalt drill and did it have the charger? Where's the charger at? No, battery, one drill driver, one battery and bag used. Sold for $58.50 and is a, a newer DeWalt. Always on DeWalt's if you want to, when you're like comping them out. There is a model number right here. Just go ahead and type that model number in. They're not all created equal, to be honest with you. Like the older ones aren't as good as this one. This one's a decent one. And we did charge the battery on these. These are good to go. Ooh, still has a charge. And it's been in here. A minute so that's good and we picked this up for super cheap actually from a uh, cat oh yeah viewer cat so thank you so much for this and we end up i actually was going to uh keep it but i have a ryobi stuff so i just sold the dewalt which i should have kept the dewalt because dewalt is actually technically better than the ryobi so it was a real dilemma i had in my brain finally we did it everybody always talks about these scream masks that they sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars or whatever and ours didn't sell for hundred dollars but Kayla picked this up for 99 cents at a goodwill I knew just by Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that if you look underneath the chin it'll be hard to see there's some writing on here now we did not have the super expensive one there's another one out there I, it has to do with the date of production or whatever and that goes for over a hundred dollars but this one still sold for $50 plus shipping. And that ain't bad for 50 cents. It did take a little bit to sell. 99 cents. For, yeah, it, that is pretty good for 99 cents. It did take a while to sell, but actually longer than I thought. It took like six months, didn't mm -hmm. it? Four to six months on this one. But we'll, we'll hold on to that thing for four to six months to make, you know, an easy 40 bucks. Yeah. We look about the same. <laughs> this is what I look like when I wake up.